Hey YouTube family and welcome back. It's uh, Wog Dad here and what we're going to do today is today is we're going to do some chicken rogan josh guys. I haven't done this one before. This is from Pataks again and um, we've tried all the other Pataks range and they turned out absolutely beautiful and amazing. And we're also going to do the garlic naan bread today from World Kitchen. So we've done uh, the naan bread before, the plain one and the garlic one previous in previous videos. But today what we're going to do is we're going to do that one. I'm going to serve that with our rogan josh. And I've prepared a little bit of a plate and uh, we'll decorate that and we'll have a bit of a taste test and we'll see how we go. So this is for all my brothers and sisters in India again and all my beautiful friends from all around the world. Uh, if you can get hold of Pataks, uh, go for it. It's a beautiful brand and we're going to do it. And I'm not, I'm not going to add any other different flavours, guys. I'm going to add some garlic and ginger to it. But the whole purpose of it is to do a review and a taste test on the actual uh, Pataks brand. The sauce and the flavour, so I didn't add anything. All right, so let's, let's, let's keep going. So what I've done guys, I've got my pan heating up and I've got the second pan for the naan so we can um, uh, cook the naan. Alright, so I'll put a little bit of olive oil, a little bit on, on that one too, for the naan. And while the chicken and the onion and everything's cooking, we'll go through the uh, the sauce and the um, naan bread itself. Alright, so that's pretty much warmed up. So what I've done guys, I've chopped up two onions. All right, two white onions, so we're gonna chuck them in the pan. Let them cook for flavor. I've got uh, one tomato, truck tomato chopped up for to chuck in later. We're gonna use our sacks of salt like usual. All right, so what I've done guys, is I've uh, got some chicken thigh, which I deboned, uh, which was from Woolworths. So I'll fix that up and that's RSPCA approved. So for all of you people that are wondering uh, what RSPCA approved means from all around the world, uh, it means that the, um, the animals were treated fairly before they got slaughtered to go and get packed and to get go onto our table. All right. And if a lot of you are wondering uh, what that means is it's similar to like, say for example, uh, like hello. Halal, right? So what does halal mean? A lot of people think halal is bad, but it's not. It actually means that the animal has been killed to be able to provide for humanity. And it's asked for permission from God to take its life. Okay, so it's nothing bad, guys. Halal is not bad. And the blood is drained properly, so you don't get sick from all the dirty blood that's left inside the animal. So it's not a bad thing, guys. So if you see halal products, Go for it. All right, there's nothing wrong. All right, so we've got our onion frying in there. We've got our chicken diced up. Uh, that's ready to go. So while our onion's frying, guys, so uh, what I'm going to do is we'll read the Patak's uh, original Rogan Josh sauce. All right, so it's a rich tomato and onion curry sauce with paprika and cardamom. It's medium strength, got two chilies there, and it's got serves four, okay? I've tried this brand before, and it's made in the UK. All right, so for three generations, our family has been proud to share the passion of the exciting flavors of India, sourcing and blending some of the best recipes uh, to our own secret recipe. Our mouth-watering Rogan Josh, actually made my mouth water then when I just spoke about that, sources a wonderful blend of onion, tomatoes, greens, cardamom, paprika to create a rich, delicious sauce, a feast of uh, sense every time. So, serves so four ready in 35 minutes, which is going to take a little bit quicker. Uh, 450 grams of diced lamb or chicken until meat is sealed. Pour into jar of sauce, simmer for 30 minutes, stirring occasionally. Also great with chicken, prawns, or mixed vegetables. They're just simmering 15 minutes. So we're doing a plain one at the moment, and I'm going to serve that with no vegetables, just onion and um, our garlic naan. And maybe even rice, because I've got some rice. But what I did, I didn't cook up the fresh rice, so from my recipe, from the other night, I made the Rizzoni uh, rice, so I got that. So there's nothing wrong with that. Just because it's Rizzoni doesn't mean like it's not authentic. It's just some leftover rice. And if you've got that too, you can use that as well. So it doesn't mean that I stuffed the whole recipe up. It's just the way it is. And I'm using them going through that instead of chucking them all in the bin. All right, so Rogan Josh is a rich tomato, onion, curry, with paprika, cardamom, of course. Right, all the onions smell so nice. I love onions. Onions go well with everything. Alright, so that's cooking. Uh, ingredients, water, tomato, 18% onion, 18% uh, tomato, sorry. 
a 5% onion, tomato puree modified. Let me just show that off. Uh, modified. Uh, what's it say? Mace, starch, vegetable, sugar, spice, dried onion, garlic, ginger, paprika, salt, acidity, uh, paprika, dried coriander leaf. Allergy advice may contain traces of peanuts and nuts. So if you're allergic to peanuts and nuts, guys, be careful, be aware. Best before see lid, open jars open, use immediately. Alright, so no artificial preserves, colors, flavors, it's vegetarian. In this case, it's not vegetarian because we're using chicken and we're using RSPCA approved chicken. Right, so onions a bit fried. Right, so now it's time to chuck the uh, half a kilo of chicken thigh in, guys. All right. Now we'll let that cook. Put that in there. I'm going to add a little bit of salt for the chicken. And once the chicken's cooked, then we'll add a little bit of tomatoes and um, the sauce. And we'll add uh, some parsley on top for a bit of garnish. We'll cook our naan when it's close, because that's not going to take long. And then we've got some onion and parsley salad, which I'll serve that on the side with. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so we'll let that cook. Oh. The garlic naan guys, I hope everyone's enjoying my videos guys. Look I've done a short on the uh, previous video, which was the Greek uh, mezzo plate. And that's going skyrocket guys. Uh, that's nearly about 3,000 views in the last 20 hours and that's still going to keep going. And I'm really proud of it. Thank you very much to our new subscribers and my new followers from all around the world. Uh, Vogdaz here for you. And the more you guys support me, put your thumbs up and uh, put a positive comment and give me strength to keep going and to be able to provide for you guys i want to do more outside guys i bought my whole setup for outside i haven't used it because the weather's been so nasty you know what every time i have a day off the weather's bad it's like it's waiting for me to be bad like i've got so much beauty out there in noosa and you know i've got the waterfront i live on the waterfront i want to take my gear out there i want to cook for you out there in the waterfront which i'm going to do i promise i'm still going to do it but at the moment, guys, we've got the restrictions. So everyone's got to wear masks at about the 14th of April. And it's school holidays now. So today, literally where I live, I went to the supermarket. It was raided. There was nothing left on the shelves. And we had to wear a mask. So I bought what I could. And uh, there's cars and boats everywhere. People on holidays. So this is a touristic place. It's a very popular touristic place. It's full of rich people. And um, it's a well-chosen place. And unfortunately, uh, this time of the year, school holidays, every school holidays, it gets packed. Okay, so I'm trying to be careful and do what I can. In the meantime, I'm trying to work and run two jobs and trying to be able to provide view for you guys all these videos. And because um, you're my family, guys, and I love you. All right, let's keep going. And hopefully this won't take long, guys. Maybe maximum 15 minutes, I'd say. I'll be finishing, okay? I know a lot of you guys don't like long videos, you get bored, um, maybe from watching it, but Log Dad, he loves, he loves talking. And, oh, and I lost my bloody uh, onions. Anyway, that's all good. Log uh, Dad talks a lot, so I try and talk and entertain you guys and go through the whole recipe slowly bit by bit, instead of watch, uh, rushing it and fast forwarding all the recipes and confusing the hell out of you guys so I hope you enjoy everything and this is probably enough to feed like four people guys and like I said I've got rice on the side from the other night and I'm just trying to work out what I did with the big with this one again because uh Rob has been very confused lately he's been going through a lot of uh stuff so I'm just trying to be positive but anyway let me have a look oh look I'm lucky guys I found the lid all right, so it was a quick one. I'm just gonna put that behind, I won't be long. All right. So, there's our chopped parsley, which I'll chuck in there for a little bit of color and flavor. And there's your onion and parsley like garnish or salad on the side. I reckon I'll go really nice with the banana. 
So what I'm going to do guys, that's nearly sort of cooking. I'm going to put the, uh, the other pan on. And I'm going to heat up our naan. Make sure you cook your chicken properly guys. You don't want to get sick. Cook it properly. Uh, make sure you wash your chopping board. Make sure you wash your chopping board and your knife uh, properly. Because you don't want to get sick. Alright, so while that's cooking... That's my rice from the other night, guys. So what I've done is I've given it a little bit of a wash. What I might do is I might throw it up in the pan a little bit, and we could chuck that on. And see how we go. All right, it's our naan bread. Oh, it's our naan bread, guys. It's a 250 gram pack. Oh, by the way, that sauce, the Rogan Josh sauce, cost uh, it was on special for three dollars twenty-five from Woolworths. And the naan bread is two dollars fifty for a two pack. It's a garlic one. And what else? We've got the chicken. The chicken cost about seven dollars. So for about twelve to thirteen dollars, you can feed the family of four, or maybe fifteen bucks with the rice and everything else. All right. So world kitchen, uh, garlic naan bread, delicious hand stretched naan made from fire roasted garlic, perfect with complement with your favourite curry. Oh my God! Do you know what's interesting? Look where it's made, guys. Made in Canada. Oh my god. Made in Canada from Canadian imported ingredients. Not sugar colors or flavors suitable for vegetarians. So, this one you can uh, do in the oven if you want. You can do in the grill or you can do in the microwave for 15 30 seconds. In this case, we're doing the pan. And uh, it's a product of Aldi. Not sugar colors or flavors. The ingredients wheat flour contains vitamin, thymine, folic, buttermilk, skim. Uh, dextrose, dextrin, flavor contains wheat, milk, uh, milk, soy, and eggs. Sorry, this is all too scientifically crazy for what that uh, contains. May contain sesame seeds and gluten free cereals. All right. So, that's cooking. What I'm going to do, guys, the other pan is sort of heated up. So, while that one's cooking, I'm going to chuck a naan. So there's our naan, garlic naan, and that's what it looks like. We're going to put it in the pan and we're going to let it like crisp up a little bit. We're going to see our chicken's pretty much ready. So I think what I'll do guys, I'm going to add the tomatoes now and then the sauce and that should be pretty much ready and we should be ready to go. Alright, so we'll add our tomatoes. Alright, one tomato. That none doesn't want to stay there, it still must be alive, it's moving around like crazy. Maybe I've gone crazy, I don't know. Alright. Cook our tomato through. A bit of colour and flavour. So what I'm going to do guys, is while our nun's heating, let's go check it. Oh, that looks really good. Right, so while our nun's heating, I'm just going to put that lid on this thing again. I'm sorry, I've got a cramp again. Alright, so, flip the garlic bread over on that side. And I've got a chopping board there. So what I might do, guys, is uh, while the nun's ready, I might chuck it on the other board and I might actually put some rice on. And we'll serve it with a little bit of rice as well. I know it's a little bit different. I mean, some garlic yogurt cucumber would be fantastic as well. But that's nearly ready. I'm going to turn that off. No, actually, I'm not turning it off because I need that. Because we're going to chuck our rice in there. So we can do our video. We'll open up our sauce, get it ready. Oh my goodness. That is so beautiful and tasty. Why do I keep saying tasty when I haven't even tasted it? I never can taste it on my lips, all the beautiful fumes and flavours. Alright. Alright, so our naan's ready. Put our naan off. We'll chuck it on our board. I'm going to give this a little bit of stir. Put it there. We're going to chuck our sauce in now, guys, and that's pretty much the ready with the taste test. We'll plate up and we'll go from there. 
Well, I'm doing everything chicken, but the reason why I haven't found any proper lamb lately. Right, I'm gonna add a little bit of water like usual. Everyone knows Wog Dad, he likes to add extra sauce and extra flavor into the uh, sauce, but I only got one, one uh, jar at this stage because I'm not making too much. Right, so add our sauce, put that aside. Mix that through. Oh, that smells so good. And you can add chili flakes to this too if you want, guys. That make it spicy. All right, so I'm gonna pull our naan off, which is perfectly cooked. So we'll check it on the board behind. And while that's happening, guys, I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil to the pan because I want to cook that rice through. And that's for my son mainly, because he loves it. I've got to feed him. All right, because he'll bloody end up eating me one time of the night, in the middle of the night. All right, that's cooking through, that's thickening up beautifully, just like how I want it. All right, so while that's cooking, I'm going to close the lid. I'm actually going to add the parsley, sorry. Just probably that one. And with the parsley, just close the lid. Cook our rice a little bit. I know I'm doing a little bit different, but that's how I'm doing it. So while that's cooking, mix it through. I've, brushed, I've washed the rice by the way guys, got rid of all that starch, so I could uh, add in the pan. I'm going to add a little bit of salt for flavour, I'm going to add a little bit more oil, and I'll drop my Uh, spoon, so forgive me. It doesn't matter. I've got this one. It's not important. All right. So our rice is cooking. We're heating up. A little bit flimsy that one. All right. So that's nearly ready. So what I'm going to do. I'm just going to get the ladle guys, I've got a ladle, take the lid off, put that aside, we've got our naan there, give it a bit of a stir, so nice and thick, not too soft, right so what Wog Dad might do, is I'm going to get a little bowl, so I'm putting a little curry there, and I'll put a bit of salad, some naan bread, and maybe some rice. So I'm just going to cut the, uh, the bread up, guys. I won't be long. So watch that boil through. Enjoy. And I won't be long. I'm just cutting up our naan. Our garlic naan. Smells so good. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm gonna leave some for me. Alright, so there's your nun, I'll cut it up. So we'll do is we'll decorate the plate a little bit like that. Make it nice and beautiful and uh, presentable. And we'll go from there. Alright, so we've done that. Next we'll put our I'm gonna turn the chicken off, I'm gonna turn the rice off, everything's off. I'm going to put some rice. Oh my god, that looks amazing. And we're better to taste this a bit well. And we'll go from there. Alright. So they're all off. So we'll get some of our chicken rogue and josh.
That smells so good. Oh my goodness. So I lick my thing. My finger, that's what it looks like guys, the Rogan Josh. So I'll put that on the side there. I'm just gonna put that there, sorry about the mess. I'll get some parsley, we'll sprinkle some parsley on top of the uh, the Rogan. Next we're gonna get, I'm just gonna get a spoon. It's running around like a crazy chook today. All right, so there's our rice. So we'll put a little bit of rice on the side there. Oh my, that looks so crazy. Well, I hope everyone's enjoying uh, Wog Dad's version of Rogan Josh. I've never done it before. The plate looks absolutely amazing. It's full of beautiful natural flavors and tastes. I'm gonna show you in a minute, guys. It looks absolutely stunning. And then I'll do some TikTok videos and have a bit of a taste of All right. This is my plate, guys. Chicken Rogan Josh with garlic naan. And we've got our onion salad with parsley. And we've got our rice. Look at that. Doesn't it look stunning? Make sure you guys follow me. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit the share button. Hit the uh, bell for further notifications. And guys, I'm gonna do the shorts for this one uh, sometime. So thank you very much. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I've got a spoon here. So I'm gonna try a bit of the rice, which I've already tried. Mmm. I'm gonna double dip because it's my plate and my food anyway. So a bit of the taste of the the sauce there on the Rogan Josh chicken. Mmm. Oh my god! Beautiful. I've never tried this before. I think I've tried the lamb ages ago, years ago. Well, the lamb was beautiful. Look at that. One more taste, guys, and I've got to go. All right, we're getting a little bit late. We're running late. It's a long video, but you know what? It's the perfection. So we've got to have a long video for perfection. Mmm. Mmm. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. And respect to everyone all around the world. Happy Easter, everyone. Don't forget to watch my videos. Press the like button. Keep in touch. I love you all. And I'm there for you guys. And I thank you for supporting me. And I've reached about 120 subscribers and about 45,000 views in the last five months. Thank you very much, guys. You're the best. I can't do it without you. Love you all. Bye.